Hello everyone, today is September the 30th. I'm Dr. Adam London, Director of the Kent County Health Department. I've got a lot of numbers I wanna share with you this week. Uh, and so we brought back our, our whiteboard back for a, a new appearance on this weekly update. And I wanna start off by talking about where our numbers stand right now with COVID-19. Here in Kent County, we're currently reporting 9,253 diagnosed cases, a daily average of about 72 new cases per day. That continues to be an increase. Last week I was reporting about 55 new cases a day. Uh, we continue to see that most of these new cases tend to be people in that 19 to 24 year old uh, age range. And our test positivity rate also continues to increase. Over the last week we saw positivity of 3.3% of all the tests that we did come back positive for COVID-19. Last week we were at about 3%. Uh, in the weeks before that, we went up from about 1.7% to about 2.5% to 3%. Now we're at 3.3%. So we continue to see the percentage of these tests coming back positive increase. Another concerning sign, not unexpected with the weather changing and schools beginning, uh, but something for us all to keep an eye on uh, and to remember that this hasn't gone away. It's still out there. It's still being spread in our community, and we still need to do the things that we've been talking about for many months now to make it difficult for this virus to spread. We're at 166 deaths as of today in Kent County. That's an increase of a couple over the past week and 7,738 recoveries. And these are individuals who have survived 30 days or longer past diagnosis. So last week we heard a report from the CDC uh, that shared survivability data with us. And we receive a lot of questions about these numbers, uh, a lot of commentary happening in social media and around the world about what these numbers mean. I want to talk a little bit about these numbers uh, and what they do mean. So survivability is a rate, a percentage of the people who become infected who survive. Uh, and what the CDC reported is that people in the age bracket beneath, below 50 years of age have a survivability rate of 99.98%. Uh, very high, that's tremendous news, that's great news. People in the 50 to 69 year old age bracket have a survivability rate of 99.5%. And people 70 years of age or older have a survivability rate of 94.6%. Now this isn't to say that everyone in these age brackets is gonna have the same survivability rate. It's important to remember that survivability uh, and vulnerability uh, relies an awful lot on a person's health before they became infected. Uh, but assuming uh, that people become infected, uh, generally speaking, we're gonna see survival rates in this range for these age groups. Uh, so many people are coming to the conclusion, it's a very high number uh, in each of these groups. Uh, and so COVID-19, not a big deal. Well, I wanna caution people, there's more to this than what first meets the eye. And that what we can learn here is that for any individual, generally speaking, the average individual in these age groups has a low probability of dying from COVID-19. That is true. Although I must say in this 70 and older group, 94.6% is about one in 20. So that's getting much higher, more concerning. But for an individual, generally speaking, your, your risk of dying from COVID-19 is very low. However, in public health, we're not just worried about the health of an individual, we're worried about the health of a population. And so when we look at numbers like this, it's important for us to project them over the population that we're caring about. And so I've run these numbers based on the population that we have in Kent County and making a couple of assumptions. The first assumption is that everyone eventually is going to become infected. Uh, and that's something that I think everyone recognizes that uh, without having some other vaccine or protection, eventually everyone is going to become exposed to and become infected by this virus. The second assumption that I made in my math here is that uh, the CDC survivability rates are gonna stay constant. Now, they may or may not. On one hand, they may get better as improved technologies and therapies are developed, these rates may improve and that would be tremendous. However, they may also decrease. 
And the reason that would happen is if our hospitals and our healthcare system become overwhelmed with too many cases all at once, we may see survivability decline uh, as that healthcare system loses its capacity to give great care to each of these individuals. But if we take these assumptions and apply it across the population here in Kent County, here's what we're gonna get. So to be clear, at a 99.9% .9 survivability rate, that means that two out of every 10,000 people are not going to survive that infection. And at a 99.5% survivability rate, that means that five out of every 1,000 people are not gonna survive. And at 94.6%, that means that 54 out of every 1,000 people in that age bracket who are infected are not going to survive. Now here in Kent County, we have a population of about 660,000 people. And roughly they fall into these, uh, these uh, size groups for each of these age categories. There are about 429,000 people aged 50 or younger, about 165,000 people between the ages of 50 and 69, and about 66,000 people are age 70 or older here in Kent County. And so when we apply these survivability numbers to these population numbers, uh, what we learn is that if everyone in Kent County became infected with COVID-19, and if these survivability numbers from the CDC are accurate, that we would see about 86 people beneath the age of 50 dying of COVID-19 in Kent County. We would see about 825 people between the ages of 50 and 69 dying of COVID-19. And in that age bracket of 70 or older, we'd be seeing about 3,564 people not surviving that infection. For a total of 4,475 people here in Kent County not surviving COVID-19, assuming that everyone eventually becomes infected. So there's a couple of truths here. One is this reality, again, that the individual risk is very low of dying from COVID-19. However, when we apply these numbers across the population, we get a number that is startling and is a number that is uh, much too high and something that we can prevent. So people are asking, what is the difference between this number and the number of deaths that we've seen to date, which right now is 166. Well, the reality right now, and the reason that we don't have a number approaching this yet, is that this community, many of you have done a tremendous job making it difficult for the virus to spread. And we can't say this enough, that the slower uh, that we make it, this, this pandemic, the longer that we can give our, our science and technology an opportunity to develop therapies, technologies, vaccine, uh, the better we can do and we can prevent this number from happening in our community. And that's why it's very important for everyone to continue to do the things we've been talking about, wearing facial coverings, social distancing, and making sure that we're using proper hygiene and sanitation uh, and being smart about this uh, wherever we go. Uh, and so I wanna encourage everyone, very important as we move forward, uh, that people stay positive. Uh, we can control this, we can keep these numbers uh, low enough that uh, we can prevent those, those really damaging, uh, concerning numbers. And staying positive is also good for your immune health. Uh, staying heroic and doing the things that while they're inconvenient or difficult, uh, they can save lives in our community. And staying healthy. It's very important that we do these things, that we support one another, uh, and we do what's in our power to make Kent County the healthiest place for all of us. So thank you for watching today. Uh, please continue to share and like these updates, and I'll talk to you again very soon.